Many thanks for staying with us. The program is this morning on ITV. It's now time for us to talk our aviation here. <laughs> and let's get set for takeoff. Uh, subsequently, the Minister Minister will be doing uh, the landing here. And this program comes your way every Monday at 8 a.m. We look at issues around the aviation sector, uh, what we can do best and uh, what we are not doing and what we could do rightly here. And we follow that uh, very closely uh, over the years. My name is Ikaro Atal. Today on the program, we would be looking at something quite sensitive here, something that even the Senate had to discuss on its, uh, during plenary on Tuesday, and the Senate x rayed that all over and the senate came to a point to say hey guys we need to be very firm on how our airports operate and what happens around the airport okay can we have uh, the details of mr godwin and Ike on the screen okay that's the name there on the screen why, why, why we do this every time before we commence the program we're not going to get tired about it is because of the fact that we don't want the program to just be a 30 minutes uh, dialogue between mr godwin and Ike and one ikaro Ata or sometimes joseph kadri it want, want it to be an interface where you can follow him through where you can actually engage him that's the phone number guys hardly give this one out here but we'll have a man giving this to us here the email address is there the blog is there uh, the youtube channel is there the twitter handle they are all there for you let's start to talk aviation here let's look at issues around let's upload let's send to him so that we can magnify it in a global space and have one of the best uh, aviation sector across the world that's the nigerian aviation. if we can together develop this then we will be proud that we are a global player okay mr god in any case with me in the studio wonderful morning sir hi good morning morning sir, sir. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm very weekend. good. The weekend was 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 splendid and good. Mm -hmm. and good. Thank yeah, God. I've had a wonderful uh, one too. Yes. Yeah. I, let, let, let me take you on this. We have a big market space here. The aviation sector is within the Nigerian market community here. Yesterday, the president signed a free trade agreement to open up the space for all uh, African countries to interfere with Nigeria on trade agreement here. They will also be involved in that of the aviation sector. Will be very much involved here. But quickly before we go to our today's topic, today's topic. What's your take on that? Hmm. Mixed grayer, mixed feeling. Um, one would have easily said that this is the best thing that would have ever come one, out of one Africa economic policy. That's correct. It would have been the best thing that uh, ever came out of Africa in this uh, century. One, one could easily have said that, but because of our special circumstance in Nigeria, what, it's, what it's, it's, it's difficult to to really celebrate. Um, reason is that um, we've got all the numbers to really get trade bubbling. 200 million plus, it's a huge market. But the point is, we're looking at uh, a policy that, that says all Africans, for as long as you have your national passport, you have free entry into other African countries that signed up. That means uh, the, to the trade, rest. To trade, to trade freely. That's correct. That's to what I'm saying. Freely. Now, what it means is that no more issuing of visas and control. You know, as long as you are armed with, uh, you know, the international passport of any of the African nations, you can enter anywhere, go there, do your business, and uh, everything you absolutely, absolutely you, tax what you, free. What you manufacture, whatever. That, that's but correct. No, they, they, now, they, they may tax you, but not as heavy as the ones coming from Europe here, yeah, but you are free to just. That's correct. Come on, now, sir. my worry is Nigeria is going to soon be a dumping ground. We are not manufacturing no, we are, enough. We, are, we, are, we're, we're we, are, we have been partly a dumping ground. Well, it's going to be worse. Pencils and the we, it's, from Ghana. it's going to be worse. And, and we're not manufacturing enough to actually send out to the rest of the you know, African nations that, that, that signed up. And our not manufacturing is not because we can't do it. That's the sad part of it. It's just because we haven't gotten our acts together um, on the issue of power, electric power. If that is the biggest issue we have with, with, with manufacturing. However, let's see how it works. Let's see what experience we, you know, we, we come up with, or rather come up against. And then um, um, if in the future we think that this is killing our nation, we'll do the Trump style. 
<laughs> we, 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 we hit the Chinas of Africa. The Chinas of Africa, the Nigerian first. Uh, Nigerian Nigeria, Nigeria first. And what, what's more, we can go on with this, this agreement because it's just not right for us. If necessary, we do an independent sole withdrawal and, and say to the rest of African nations, here's the experience here. Here's what we must adjust. This is, it's not working for us. This is where we, we, we must go if we still want us on board. So because there's a chance for those kind of uh, Trump, uh, you know, uh, I'm trying to get an, um, an appropriate uh, phrase that can be permanent in the, in, in the minds of people. Um, I will think through it. The next time I come, I will tell them what, uh, okay. what, will, follow, what will follow the word Trump. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we'll we'll do that here. <laughs> At the we... moment, I say the, the Trump style. <laughs> <laughs> We've been following yeah. through so, uh, issues of the mm. international aviation politics here, but today it appears we want to do something that appears urgent. We'll be coming back to that, if, if I'm correct, sir. Yes, aviation security. Okay. Or but we've not, we've not concluded airport, the, airport security. We've not concluded international aviation politics, how it affects our hairline. Have we concluded that? Oh, yeah. Okay. We, we finished that last week. Okay, I thought, I thought we still have some other no, 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 no. more to go. We put, we put an end to it last, uh, you know, last week, and of course we made a promise that by today we should uh, start dealing with airport security. And that's okay. what we're going to be doing. Okay, with can we, let's can get we our, quickly? yes, let's get our... Um, can we get the clips uh, ready if they're there? Clip one, so that we can hit the ground running or hit the skies flying. <laughs> Okay, airport security, how well is Nigeria are doing part one? That's correct. Okay. okay. Here we go. Uh, definition. Airport security describes the techniques and methods used in the process of protecting passengers, staff, aircraft, and airport property from accidental, malicious, and unintended harm crime and other threats. It takes a combination of human and material resources to protect civil aviation against unlawful interference such as acts of terrorism, sabotage, communication of force threat to life and property, bombing, etc. Due to the large number of people who pass through and are located in one place at airports, they constitute potential targets for terrorism and other forms of crimes. Airport security um, strives to prevent threats and potentially dangerous situations from arising or infiltrating the country. The success of airport security guarantees that the chances of any dangerous situation illegal items or threats finding their ways into the aircraft, airport, or country are reduced. Clip two, quickly. Clip two, let's clip two quickly, let's get clip two. And the definition continues. Clip two, let's get clip one, let's get clip two. Yeah, that's clip right, two there. As airport security serves to protect the airport and the country from any threatening activities, hence, reassuring the traveling public that they are safe. Its goal is therefore to prevent harm to aircraft, passengers, and crew, as well as support national security and counterterrorism policy. Enforcement authorities at the airport may include a police force dedicated to the airport as known to exist in Australia. In Australia, they have a special police force dedicated purely for the air, you know, a police force or a police squad or a police unit or just a special, a special, you know, unit of the police meant purely for the airport. That's what's going on in Australia. Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, in, in, in part two, we are going to see um, uh, a lot of challenges the world, uh, you know, has had over the years that, that brought us to the point where we are. And then if um, we begin to see country by country how others 
uh, making sure that nothing unacceptable slips through the airport. Okay. And so we can learn from those and do our own in, oh, a, be in a better oh, fashion. Nice, yeah. yeah, but so let's go on now. Enforcement authorities are the airport may include a police force dedicated to the airport as known to exist in Australia. A substation of the police force stationed at the airport. Okay, that means to have a police, like a division. That's correct. A police division. The inspector okay. general, the inspector general of police, can choose to create a special team. Like a division. A yes. Division. Yeah. That's correct. And manned by a, a very a senior DPO. officer, uh, not necessarily a DPO. It may, it might be an AIG or whoever. It depends on how they want to look at the. Okay you know, the, uh, the appropriate um, uh, category of officer that, that should be manning such an, a huge and awesome, well, because can, what it means is that... They can get an ACP. Whoever. What it means is that if you have this in place, then that particular unit will be fanned out to all the airports in Nigeria. And they will be seen and known However, in Nigeria, we already have a security department that has been set up known as uh, Aviation Security, that is AFSEC. We have our AFSEC, but I tell you, they are still not as visible as I, uh, I need to see them. Because, I mean, I flew to Lagos the other day and I, I, took, I, I took a little tour of the airport with the little time I had because I went ahead of time and took a little tour to see how things were going. Uh, that's in, in Nam way. And, um, of course, when I landed in... Um, in, in Lagos, I also, you know, took a little look at how things are. But what, let me say this quickly before I forget. One thing thrilled me. You know, I haven't been to Lagos for a while. And I found out that that international airport road that's been completed is awesome. As a matter of fact, if you're blindfolded and dropped in the middle of that road, you will think you are in Houston, Texas, in the U United <laughs> States true. of America. That's it's true. unbelievable. All portions of, um, of uh, traffic conflict have been you know, eliminated. And over uh, Head Bridge, that's uh, the one we call fly over here, you know, fr from the point of exit from the toll gate facing uh, the um, uh, uh, cargo, you know, air cargo in okay. you know, the terminal, and as you are now heading towards, you know, uh, a solo Oshodi, you, you now make a U-turn seamlessly in a beautiful U uh, bridge that's been built there. Everything is so speak and span, and everything is so cute. I was really, really, really very proud to be a Nigerian seeing, seeing that stuff in Lagos. And I just wondered if we just kill corruption in this country and invest money that is aimed in this nation, will have the best nation that anybody can have in Africa. That's good. Yeah. So, um, uh, 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 C, if we get back to, to Q, it, C, members of a country's airport protection service, such as APSEC in Nigeria. You have heard that now. Yeah. There are D, police dog services for explosive detection and drugs slash weapons, uh, security guards, Parliamentary forces such as Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, the NSCDC in Nigeria, then military forces. These are the different arms of uh, uh, forces that can be deployed to ensure that nothing unacceptable slips through our airports. Uh, we can do, of course, our environment better than they are at the moment. It's all about investing money. It's all about eschewing corruption, killing it as a matter of fact and then uh, developing our nation. Uh, let's move to clip three very to quickly. Clip three. Motifs. Motifs, processes, and equipment. Most airport security breaches are as a result of passengers being in possession of concealed weapons or materials that could be used as weapons on board aircraft so they can hijack the plane. In order to prevent this, Airport security officials use the following processes and equipment to ensure that airports are safe. Okay. Number one is the metal detectors. You're going to see that in a short while, what, you know, what we mean by that. There's number two, millimeter wave scanners. Number three, explosive detection machines, such as X-ray machines, explosive trace detection portal machines, fondly known as puffer machines. Okay. 
I really do not know the, the types we, we, we have in place at the moment. Uh, I'm going to find out shortly. Then number four, backscatter x-rays used to detect hidden weapons and explosives on passengers. This particular one is already creating problems around the world and, uh, and a few countries are beginning to remove them from their airports because um, they kind of undress people. You are, you are dressed, but the people behind uh, the scene and who are looking at uh, you on, on, on their screens you see everything, uh, see everything yeah. including your private areas. And so, so um, uh, uh, a few people are finding that very embarrassing. And uh, in some countries, they are beginning to withdraw those machines. So, that, I mean, it's known as backscatter x-ray. I'm going to show you how um, it, it presents you when you pass through it. Uh, used to detect hidden weapons and explosives on, on passengers. Now, people are usually screened through airport security into areas where uh, the exit gates to the airport are located. These areas are fondly referred to as secure, sterile, and airside. That's what those secure areas, are, the different nomenclatures that they are used to describe them. Let's go to clip four. Clip four very quickly. Yeah, well, the motives, uh, excuse me, <coughs> uh, processes and equipment continue. Now, uh, as further security, airport food outlets now use plastic glasses. I'll take that again. As further security, airport food outlets now use plastic glasses and utensils as opposed to glasses made out of glass and utensils made out of metal to reduce the usefulness of such items as weapons. I'm sure you've noticed that uh, in flights these days, you, everything is almost plastic. The spoon and you use plastic as against those beautiful, you know, forks and knives that uh, they used to serve, especially on the international route. No more. Now, um, in the recent past in the USA, non-passengers were allowed on the concourses. You know, you know the concourse, don't you? Yeah. To meet arriving friends and relatives at their gates. People used to have the opportunity of going, you know, quite close to the uh, you know, um, entrance point of the concourse um, to receive their friends, but not, not anymore. This is now restricted due to possibilities of terrorist attacks. Non-passengers who, due to one important reason or the other, must come to the secure areas must obtain a get pass. However, sensitive areas in airports such as airport rams and operational spaces are restricted from the general public. Known as security identification display area CIDA, these spaces require special qualifications to enter. Another security measure used by most airports around the world is the fiber optic perimeter intrusion detection systems. I don't think we have those there because uh, even our airports, most of them are not yet fenced. With these uh, airport security officials, uh, with these airport security officials can, in real time, detect, track, and locate in, 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 uh, intrusions at the airport. Let's move to um, clip five. We're there. Okay, that's clip five. That's, That's correct. So take a look at uh, the photos on this clip five, and you see the a first one is the baggage screen, screen monitor. monitor. That's the one we are, we all know mm -hmm. we we have them out here as well. Um, and then you you have the metal detector. You can see the, somebody being scanned all through okay. for for metals. If you, if you, if you have any un, uh, unacceptable thing on your body, it, it screams and it, you know lets off an alarm to show that uh, something is somewhere. And then, of course, uh, the security man will reach out to see what it is. It might be your keys, by the way, <laughs> <laughs> or your phones or whatever. Now, um, uh, look at the, uh, the backscatter technology, which uh, produces image that resemble, um, uh, resembles a chalk etch etching. Oh, uh, you, can see, you can see you are virtually naked, even though you are, you are properly dressed before you came before it. And so it, it really undresses you. 
Um, that's, um, that's why a lot of people are now kicking, and uh, a lot, uh, some nations are uh, so the, uh, on, on the other side of the photo, you find the images produced by backscatter extra extra. But, 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 so, but, but, but the, the issue here on the ground is, I don't know how it is, uh, but let's, let, before, before I go for that, even if I were to take this today, uh, why, why sometimes in mostly in Nigeria, you take off your belt? It doesn't happen most times on the international flight. Oh yeah, um, I'm still... You take off your belt. I, 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 I am still even not sure. Wedding, you, why they do that, but it's, but, but it's you possible. Do it regularly. Yes, of course. It, it's it's possible that there's been somewhere around the world a case of some individuals lacing either drugs or some dangerous uh, stuff, drugs. you know, uh, uh, having them sandwiched by you know two ends of the ladder. You know, you can really create create one. Have either drugs or some dangerous equipment such as a knife, a pen knife or something. You can actually lace it on one side of the leather and then sandwich it with the other, sew them up and they will line up around your waist as a beautiful belt. So in order to ensure that there is no possibility of that happening, I, I am guessing that that's why we pass our belts you know, through to ensure that somebody takes a good look at them and make sure that there's nothing sandwiched in between. I think that's the reason that's going on. Okay. So anything that can be done to secure us is, is for me, is acceptable. I mean, it's, it's just a few minutes of inconvenience, and then after that, you just uh, uh, get into the plane confident that you get to your destination safely, like I did over the weekend. <laughs> and, um, and of course, one of the very beautiful airlines had this young lady who was a captain, and I really, really enjoyed that flight. The touchdown was professionally done, and uh, I didn't, Wait, I didn't hesitate to walk into the cockpit to say, "Hey, well, lady." Some turbulence. <laughs> no, with the, no, no. With the rainy season. No, we didn't. Um, I mean, funnily enough, it was bright. Everything went smoothly. We didn't experience any turbulence, and then, of course, the descent was smooth and nice. The touchdown was good. And then, uh, of course, um, uh, was, you know, was. We, we, it was a beautiful flight. And uh, when I heard the name of the young lady, I, I knew right away we were dealing with a lady here. And uh, on my, during my exit, I, w I went into the co cockpit and said, hey, what men can do, women can do better. That was really wonderful. And she was happy for the compliment. And then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, Let me clip, uh, clip six, clip six. That's, that's the clip final six. one. This is the, the millimeter wave scanner. Take a look at that photo on, on, on yeah. the, the top left. The, one that looks like the top left. Like yeah, so you can inside. see when you stand. I, I think I have seen this in, um, in, in our uh, airport, international airport in Lagos. Okay. I, I've seen this there, uh, where you stand before a panel and the pa you know and get scanned, and somebody somewhere watching. Is, uh, is, is seeing everything that uh, might be hidden in your body. And once you are clean, they let you through. And so that is a millimeter sc uh, you know, wave scanner. And I thought I should let my viewers see what we are, instead of all this long drama of millimeter and the wave and the scanner, that's exactly what we're looking at. Then we have the, you know, the, the one that is known as the active millimeter wave unit, and that's it on the, on, okay. on, on the top right. And then the lower one is the passive millimeter Should wave that, unit. That one they do. Like some of the entry point to some hotels somewhere? Right? Uh, oh, where? Yes, that's correct. Mm, that's that's correct. in Beijing, very, that's very correct. common here. That's correct. I thought, I thought you are an amazing guy. You got it straight and right. What about the one that, the one that was the <laughs> yeah, one? it's 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 a it's a handheld and it's um it, it, they call it you know uh, passive because of its uh, well, its operational well, style. Well, is when you mentioned that, you not mentioned our sniffer dogs. Um, no. I know, I know, I know. We saw so many sniffer dogs at the airport in Beijing, and to my shock, I didn't even know what those dogs were doing until when they just went to a guy's bag and. Mm. And, and they stood there. Stood there, and they had yeah. to call the guy yeah. that you got some things in this bag. Mm. Uh, now these dogs are not happy with. That, uh, yeah, he got some. He got some foods. Mm -hmm. He said, "We are they cleared." He took him to a corner, mm -hmm. and the dogs were just going around his bags. They yeah. came to my bag. They passed, yeah. and they got to his bag, and the dog just. Uh, Those just animals them. are amazing. They are amazing. You, you, you would have noticed that I also mentioned in one of the clips yeah. about. Um, uh, I can actually. Uh, I can actually show you the clip where we quickly uh, mention the issue of um, uh, animals that uh, uh, help us to get this job done. Um, 
that was, uh, uh, what a minute, um, yeah, that was uh, clip two. Let's go back to clip two, very quick, clip, clip two quickly, clip two. Clip, two, clip two quickly, let's check what uh, is there, but I know sniffer dogs are very, those, those dogs there, they really, they really amazed me so oh, much. Oh yeah, they are, yeah. Really and they are so, so faithful. Faithful and that's really, the two there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you if you look at uh, D, D, that's item D, D, police dogs, police services, dog services okay. for explosive detection, detection and drugs, drugs and slash weapons. weapons and even foods. Uh, that's correct. Even foods. So um, the you see, those are amazing animals. Whatever you train them to take charge of, they do they do them very effectively. Very effectively, and I tell you what, you can bribe them. <laughs> You can distract them. It's amazing. You can bribe them. You can dis distract them, and uh, you can't influence them. Once they are trained to detect one or two items, any time they pass by where those items exist, no matter how concealed they are, they just sit down there. And the guy will come and, and tell you, "Hey, guy." And then I'm back a little bit. Woo, woo. Uh, you know, some don't even bother to back. They just sit down there and their handlers come and know that something is wrong. And if you move that object that is sat in front, it gets up, walks along with you. Wherever you now keep the object, it sits down with the object. Now, if it thinks you're about to run with it, that's when it attacks you. And they are horrible. Horrible dogs. Can they? Can can you get them to attack you? You are in real trouble. I think it's a, it's a nice one here. We just pray we we, yeah. we get the system uh, properly protected yeah. uh, so that we can. But we'll be coming back uh, with uh, part two. Part two. It's a huge topic. Huge long, huge long one. We may be doing up to part six. Or more. It's, it's, or more. Or it's more. huge. And we're going to do them exhaustively so that no one gives us any excuses in this nation. No excuses. We've, we've got to do things and do them right all the time that's what aviation is all about not sometimes all the time because you can't afford to make a mistake that slaughters people in their tens and hundreds no we can't we can't do that it's a it's, it's, it's a bi serious business and a business for serious people and we need to get serious in our nation we really need to get okay serious. Uh, thank you very much uh, mr godo nk we we'll following through please do follow us through we'll be taking this up every monday 8 a.m let's follow through and let's be Actually, security because of what happens around us. You can also save, pilot. You can also save. You as you follow this through, you will also be very much uh, observant of things happening around you. Security is everyone's business. Thanks for coming. Oh, thank you a lot. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thanks for investing your time with us.